the judge's game. I'd heard about it for years on the street before I was even in law school. A rotating group of 10 or 12 judges, prosecutors, and professors. They all have money, and in my playing days, it would have been pretty sweet to have any one of them owing me favors. Only problem is, no one can get in the game anymore. One rounder, Crispy Lanetta, sat under some pretense, but when they found out he was a pro, he couldn't cross the street without a legal hassle. Even his regular club, Vorchez, got shut down. The place has been open since 1907. Oh, Michael. You got some things for me? Yes, I do. Put them on the desk. It's all right. Kitty, paying you for this late night shit? Oh, well, knowledge is my reward, sir. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it ain't worth it. Why don't you become a jockey? Do something useful. <laughs> Kid's a little tall, isn't he, Gene? Uh, enough with the Belmont recruiting spiel. Your bet, Captain. All right. Uncle. Michael is lead counsel in the moot court you're presiding over next week, Gene. Uh. Besides, he could use the background if he's going to clerk for one of you fellas this summer, right? <laughs> hey, but I thought you liked the kid. <laughs> Why do you want to make him a civil servant? <laughs> yeah, look, a word to the wise. Stay in the private sector. That NASA defense attorney's game? They use our chips for coasters. The amazing thing is, in this collection of great legal minds, there isn't a single real card player. I'm still hiding. All right, Carl. Carl. Oh. Race. Uh, Professor Ray. Right? My call. I don't know if I'm gonna bring my legal career to a crashing halt before it even starts. But I just can't help myself. Good. I'm in. <clears throat> Freeze check. Check to Martin and Lewis over there. <laughs> check to the razor. Czechoslovakia. Slovakia. What's the limit? Twenty dollars. Big bet's twenty dollars. Okay, good. It's twenty. You've seen half the hand. How the fuck are you betting into us? You sure this is wise, Abe? It's your money the kid's betting with. Well, that's plenty wise. We know what we're holding, and we know what you're holding. <laughs> the fuck you know what we all got? Summer clerkship in your office says I know what you're holding. I don't bet with jobs like that. Let's just say I'll put you at the top of the list if you're right. OK. <clears throat> well, you were looking for that third three, but you forgot that Professor Green folded it on 4th Street, and now you're representing that you have it. Um, the DA made his two pair, but he knows they're no good. Judge Kaplan was trying to squeeze out a diamond flush, but he came up short, and Mr. Eisen is futilely hoping that his queens are going to stand up. So, like I said, the dean's bet is $20. Well, kiss my ass. <laughs> kiss my ass. <laughs> What'd you have, babe? Nothing but a busted straight. Oh, come on. It's good enough to win. Take it. Oh. All right, kid, your first assignment. Pull up a seat next to me. Oh, I'd like to. I can't. I can't. I don't play cards. Get out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Whose deal? I like to get in. Good kid. Smart kid.